Hi, this is Dr. Campbell. I am here today to talk to you about marriage equality after the wedding. Now, I was reading an article. Um, it was titled The Curse of Early Marriage. And they were talking about the marriages in Dhaka, Bangladesh. And what has been happening in Bangladesh is that the girls there have been getting married at about 12 years old. And they feel that it's a disadvantage because it leads to such crimes as domestic violence. Uh, it re leads to health challenges for the young girls. And it also leads to challenges with children mortality rates. And so what they've tried to do is they've tried to lower the age of marriage to 16. And they want to better educate the young girls. And they want to give them stipends to stay in school until they graduate from high school. But I think, you know, you have to look at the problem a little deeper than that. You have to look at the model for marriage. Now, God has given us a model for marriage. Through Adam and Eve, he gave us a three-phase model. The first phase is that the man must be a servant and he must be a good steward over the resources that God has provided him. The second phase is that the man must follow and obey God's commands. And we read this in Genesis 2, 16 and 17, where he told Adam what he could and what he could not do. And in 2, 15, that's when he gave him the commission to be a servant and a steward. And then in Genesis 2, 18, that is when he gave Adam, Eve, his helpmate. And so if women understand that their role in the marriage is to help their husband, then they will never have to worry about marriage inequality. This is Dr. Campbell. You can read the entire article on my blog at www.advancedmarriagetraining.com. You can also call me on my direct line, 856-566-3267. Thank you very much.